Hello everyone, this is my first trip out of Singapore after borders were closed in 2020 and I remember feeling so surreal to be back on a plane again after two years. Let me take you along my journey to Melbourne, Australia. We rented an Airbnb near Queen's Victoria's Market and it was really nice. Here's a little tour of the place and I'll put the link down in the description box below if anyone wants to check out too. It's about $123 a night. We have a lovely view outside with a balcony on the 21st storey and the bedroom also has very nice view on the outside. Can you can see the mountains. The toilet is also really really clean and nicely finished, furnished. We were so hungry and our Airbnb was right next to Operator 25 and I got myself a hojicha latte which was quite unique but on the sweeter side. I really love the French toast though, it was so yummy. But you can skip this duck dish. It's mandatory to visit the Queen Victoria's Market so here we are. Our Airbnb was just a 5 minutes walk from here. And there is also a summer night market where there are lots of street food stores but take note that it is only open during the summer months. There is an outdoor and indoor section of the market selling everything from souvenirs to fresh produce and even meat. Do remember to come check out this place early because we were here after 2pm and most of the stores are already closed for the day. Honestly, I think that Queen Victoria's Market is a little overhyped and I think there's a better market out there which I'll show you guys very soon. They even sell some exotic meats here. Have you tried any? So after the market, we took the free tram to Spencer Outlet Centre to see if we can find any good deals but honestly, it was quite disappointing. Prices were not that great for most of the stores we went into. But for those who like cotton on, I think you should check out this place. For dinner, we checked out Royal Stacks which I heard is the Australian version of Shake Shack. The interior was pretty hip and cool and the burgers, hmm, pretty comparable to Shake Shack indeed. So here's the better market I need to introduce to you guys and that is the South Melbourne market. So much more hipsters selling both food, clothing, handmade crafts, unique items and little knickknacks. Not to forget, definitely the food is worth checking out here and we got some baked oysters which taste delicious. like brunch, you have to check out Humble Race. I love this crab meat omelette croissant, so good. The husband also really enjoyed his miso udon in cream sauce. For the gelato lovers, you cannot miss going to Piccolina Gelateria. And please get the pistachio flavour. The flavour is so pronounced and it really rivals the one I've had in Italy. Perhaps the best pistachio gelato I've ever had. And if you're in Melbourne, I'm sure you have heard about the all-famous Lune Croissant. We started queuing at 7.45am on a Saturday and there were already 20 people in front of me before the store even opens. But do note that if you buy during weekends, there's a 15% surcharge on all items and that will drive up your cost if you're buying a lot. Each croissant costs about $6 to $7 before the surcharge. the almond one. This is the cherry ripe one. This is the cinnamon bun. This is the almond croissant, the original one. And this like sweet one that I don't know what it's called. And then the morning bun is the cinnamon sugar one. And this is the lemon curd. So we're gonna try it finally. And we paid how much? 75 Aussie dollars <laughs> for seven pieces of pastries yeah super expensive but you know we're on a holiday so who cares yay let's dig in we just started eating on the plain croissant and look at the 
layers. Very soft and fluffy and and buttery. This is the morning bun. That is cinnamon roll-ish. Wow, check out the cinnamon inside. Looks oh, really good. Mmm. Very nice and yummy. Not too sweet actually. This is their famous almond croissant. Look at the beautiful layers of almond on top. And the icing sugar it looks so pretty. Mmm! Well, good, good. Mmm! It's really, very, very good. It's like very, very crispy. I think it's even more crispy than their original one. And they have some form of like filling inside. And yeah, I think it's really, very really good. I think you should really, really try this. And get this one the next time you visit Lune Croissant. This is the cross section of the lemon curd croissant, and it's very yummy. The lemon curd in the middle is very tangy, and it's like a good contrast with the sweet exterior where it's sugar coated. It's really very soft and really like nice texture overall. If you are doing some shopping, pop by the H&M building to check out the gorgeous architecture. It's located in the old general post office building. Very pretty in a day when the light shines through the glass ceiling. Yay, work trip! Mm. Rented a car. And we are going to Mornington today. I've not driven in 3 years. Oh yeah, since 2019, our honeymoon. First stop is Moonlit Century Wildlife Park. It's $26.40 per adult. Pretty pricey, I would say, but a good place to see some koalas and kangaroos. It was a really hot day when we visited, so the animals were pretty much all hiding in the shade. You can buy some animal feed at the entrance for $5 to feed the animals as well. There's a few animal shows going on, so do check the timing of the shows when you are planning to visit. Of course, we saw some beautiful koalas. You can purchase a top-up to interact with the koalas up close as well. Hello. So close up. We are here at Sunny Ridge Strawberry Farm. They have um, picking of strawberries. And they are open 7 days a week, 9 am to 5. Over here at the store, you can purchase fresh strawberries and its related products like ice cream, jam, or even wine. Before you start the fruit picking, you have to first buy a small or regular size container for $10 to $12 each, and then you're all set to begin. Not a big one. Oh, it's huge! I really enjoy myself here. It's like treasure hunt looking for the juiciest strawberries hidden in the bushes. I think this is a really fun activity for family with kids. It's really not too tiring because there's plenty to pick from if you come in the right season. Just bring ahead and you have lots of fun. We tried going to PT Leo Estate but it was already closing by the time we get there. Do take note that places in Australia close really early around 4 to 5 pm. The restaurant here has a great ambiance with floor to ceiling glass panels overlooking the Sculpture Park, which you have to pay an entrance of $10 to enter. The manager was nice enough to let us in to take a peek at the Sculpture Park and it really looks super huge and the view is really good. 
we are at the lighthouse. Where are we? We are at Cape Shank. There's the lighthouse over there. And we are going to the boardwalk. See the ocean! Before dinner is Chapman's Point Lookout. We came a little bit too close to evening and the sun was not at the right side. So I would recommend you coming before noon so that the sun will shine at the town below. Dinner is Jomena Fish Supply, fish and chips for sure. Hi! We just got our fish and chips and we are eating in the car. It's like in a bag like that, there's like no box. No balls and no cutlery. And we wanted to eat outdoors by the sunset, but there's just too many flies and we are just like attacked by flies. <laughs> how, is, how is it? Mm. My first cut. Culture shock. <laughs> wow, the shrimp looks big, see? Mm -hmm. Oh, I want the shrimp. So much fried food. Hello, so we made dinner at our Airbnb today and we made kangaroo stew with cauliflower and mushrooms. Kangaroo meat is actually 98% protein and it's actually very lean but yet it's tender and bouncy and chunky at the same time. So we really enjoy kangaroo meat. So yep, this is let's our in. dinner. Let's dig in. We also went to Phillip Island but felt that there was nothing much interesting to see except the penguin parade which we were not very interested in so we just had some fish and chips and went to a beach. So here's a clip of me chasing some seagulls. I'll wrap up the vlog right here and thank you for watching. Do subscribe and hit thumbs up and click the notification bell if you like our videos and look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!